at YouTube and a lot of my videos where I'm testing locks, trying to break them to see how long they last. People have written in the comments section, try hip lock, you won't break through hip lock. So I went onto Amazon, I thought, wow, they're cheap, I'll give them a try. Now I realize they weren't talking about this, the hip lock Z lock. They were talking about the hip lock D1000, which is a, a D lock and it's about 300 and something euros, 280 pounds. It's covered in graphene, which is supposed to make it impossible to break through with an angle grinder. They weren't talking about this, but this is what I've got. So let's have a look at it. These are incredibly cheap. It's 20 euros for a pair of two. They do one for between, for about 10 pounds, 12 euros per piece. It's a very disappointing unboxing experience. You sh I thought, we'd, you know, it would come some kind of fancier packaging and a QR code and some kind of vision for the company. Uh, but no, I thought it was actually something for one of my pets. It looks like a collar for one of the pets. You just get it in an envelope. Anyway, I looked at the company and it's a British company, so I should be nice. And they made the first wearable uh, bike locks. So it's designed by product designers and bike enthusiasts. You get this key in the middle. And this is a universal key, which I find a bit odd because if a bike lock, if a bike thief has one, they can break any lock. I mean, they can just open it in a second. So I'm not sure it works as a coffee shop lock if the bike thief has one. So then I was thinking, would it be useful for my kids? So my kids, I have three kids and they go to bike by school and they're asking for a lock for school, so would this be any good for them? My first thought is that this little key, they're gonna lose it immediately. Unless you put a key ring around it, they're gonna lose it in their bag. They could kind of, it's not that sharp, you're not really gonna hurt yourself, but I know boys can be very mischievous and start poking each other with stuff. So I do worry they'd lose it, or that these prongs at the end of the universal key would get bent and then they wouldn't be able to use it at all. So either they can't use it or they lose it. So I'm not 100% convinced from my kids. I think there'd be a lot of other good applications for one of these on your bike, like keeping things flat on the, the back rack. If you wanted to hold something onto the back rack, it may just be big enough. So how do you do it? I'm putting in the universal key. Come on, Will. There we go. I've separated it. Okay, that works quite well. What I'm going to do in a sec is use a um, a hacksaw just to see. Okay, just to see if you can how easily it is to cut through. So you can tighten it very very tight, and then to loosen it. It feels a lot like a plastic tie. I've got a bag of plastic ties. It looks like exactly the same uh, width, more or less, as a plastic tie. But I can see this film or this very thin piece of stainless steel. I did think about using these, the cable cutters, to cut through it. But these are the only pair I've got and I need them for selling bikes. So I'm just going to try and take a little bit off the end just to see. So the plastic's quite tough. This is nylon plastic. Because the thing is, I know you're thinking, why don't you put it in a vice? But a bike thief's not going to have a vice. They'd have the cable, to this Z lock. Ah, oh, look at that, straight away. Yeah, that's pretty flimsy. So if I keep doing that about five more times, it's going to go all the way through. What do I think of this? I mean, you can wear it easily. You can wear it as a bracelet or put it on your belt or something. It's better than nothing, might have some different uses. I think, I've, you know, you'd lose this very, very easily or it'd cut a hole in your pocket, in the fabric of your pocket, and then your money would fall out. And they're universal anyway. I'm going to say six out of ten for these, maybe six and a half because it's such a, an awesome price. Um, but it's basically a plastic tie, just a tiny bit stronger. Like and subscribe for more. Put any comments below if you use one or you think these are better than I've said. And I will try and get a Hiplock D1000. Thanks.